What's up, Internet? It's Dumbass Panic Coast Gaming, and we're playing Let's Go Eevee today. So I'm going to try and do a playthrough of this. Because, um, yeah, I want to play it again before I... Uh, before the new games come out, Scarlet and Violet. I forgot about this adorable animation at the beginning. It has been a while since I've seen that. Because you only see that the when you're creating a new save. So hopefully it's not going to be too much of a pain in the ass to like try and use the Joy-Con. I might not actually be able to do it underneath the desk like I want to. Also, that kind of looks weird, if I'm being honest. You know, like, yeah. Uh, but I'm not sure... Eh, that might work fine. We'll see. Uh, do, 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 do. I hate that shift is, like, pressing down the stick. Uh, yeah, I am recording. We're on Twitch, so we're good. Oh, yeah, don't you get to name him? Oh, God. I should have come up with a stupid name. Uh... I'm just gonna call him Gary, because honestly, the only names I can come up with are extremely stupid or probably not something that I can put on Twitch, so... Actually, I don't think it's anything I would get in trouble with Twitch for, but still. It's just, it's all dumb names, so I don't feel like... I should have come up with something beforehand. I forgot that you name your rival in this. It's crazy that, like, this game looks so much better than, like, Sword and Shield. Movement's a little bit weird, but... Uh, anything that we care about? Yeah, it's an Eevee plush. It's so adorable. He's a shit fan. Anyways. It's a cool poster in the top left. I kind of wish I could get a poster like that. I bet you they do somewhere. If they don't sell it, I'm sure someone on a... On like a red bubble or something does. Yes, I've read the email on how to play the video game. There was a thing in uh, Sword and Shield, right? Where you basically get to skip to some of the tutorial bullshit. That was a weird hiccup in the audio. Also, this is, like, the first time ever that I'm using the, um, the, like, end piece of the Joy-Con. I had them when, like, I played the game the first time years ago, but, like, I, I had completely forgotten about them, so I just, I was playing with it, um, 
Watchmen. Come on, come off, you piece of shit. Oh, is it locked? Is that why? But yeah, I would just play it just like by itself, which is fine. I think, uh, honestly, I think I do prefer it with this because it's a lot nicer to hold and it actually has a little bit of weight to it. But it does feel a little bit weird. Hey, what's up, Neptune? Yeah, I know, right? I haven't even caught a shiny yet. I'm such a loser. I know. I know. Oh, that reminds me. I don't know why that reminds me. All right. And I call myself a shiny hunter. Listen, this game isn't as easy as Legends Arceus to get shinies, okay? Cut me some slack here. It's still very easy to shiny hunt in this. Unfortunately, I've already, uh... Done a lot of the easy shinies. And also, again, I just, I don't really want to, um... I don't want to try and shiny hunt in this anyways on stream just because the motion controls being so flaky is like an issue. I used to be a shiny hunter like you and then I took a bee drill to the knee. Oh, Jesus. Uh, do I interact with them? Interesting they bothered to put three slots for Pokeballs, but they only have two there. Okay, so what do I need to do to get Professor Oak? Oh, there he is. There it is. There's the adorable little shit. The other option was a shiny Mega Mewtwo, but Gary already took it. Aw. Okay, I'm gonna try... Yeah, shut up. Okay. Trying to do it under the desk is going to be a disaster. Oh boy. Uh, we might not be doing a whole lot of this if I can't get the motion controls to work. Shut up, game. Yeah, like, I can't get enough movement on this to, um... There. Oh my god. If I have to do that every time, I might not be doing a full playthrough of this. But we'll at least do this today. Because, yeah, like, under the desk and, like, in front of it here or, like, just to the side, like, I guess there's not enough motion to do it. But if I do any more, then I'm going to punch a microphone. It was a fine performance. No, it wasn't. Don't lie to me. What happens if you run out of Pokeballs? Man, I swear I threw more than three there, but I still had seven. So, I don't know. I'm sure it just gives you more. I forgot about this shit. <laughs> okay. All right, here we go. The most OP Pokemon in the entire game. Oh. Let's 
Is that the Pokeball is actually Voltorb all along? Oh god. That's right, we have to do the uh the power plan in this game. Uh no. So I wonder what the third Pokemon then is. What Eevee Lucian you going for? So you can't actually evolve this Eevee. It uh the game won't let you evolve it, it'll always stay like that. Which is kind of shit, but also like you can't evolve the Pikachu into Raichu either, so. What did Oak say? Grow what? Oh, don't worry. The Eevee is plenty overpowered. The Pikachu and the Eevee in this game have, like... So the stats don't quite work the same. And they, like, start out with, uh, max IVs. And I think they're, like, their base stats are also just, like, jacked. Last one is Rattata, probably. Watch, the last one is actually Mew. Also, this was the game that they introduced the, uh, the $50 controller that no one buys except they're getting the free Mew for. Maybe a light must be nuts on them. Uh, I don't think there's, um, hold items in this. This game plays completely differently from the normal Pokemon games. So I'm pretty sure that uh, there might be hold items. I don't know. Now I'm thinking about it. I'm almost certain there's no Eviolite though. This game is wacky. Yeah, I mean it's it's a Gen One remake, and it's based on. Yeah, so there's no uh, hold items, I don't think. But yeah, it's, I mean, most of it is based off of... Uh, how many Pokeballs do I have, by the way? Oh, but it's based, like, the mechanics... Oh, nice, 50. So it's mostly based on the mechanics of Pokemon Go. Hence the name Let's Go. It was basically a way for them to try and introduce people who, like, just got interested in Pokemon with, um... Pokemon Go. It, like, introduces them into the the mainline franchise. See, that's the problem with doing it to the right. It, like, acts weird sometimes. Hey, there we go. So, yeah, like, you... There's not really any battles that you do. Ah, uh, sorry, let me take it back. There's plenty of battles, but, like, you don't... You don't ever battle wild Pokemon. The only exception to that is the, uh... The legendaries. Alright, let's catch you. It might work okay to do it like that. That's like the biggest issue with this game is the uh, motion controls can be kind of inconsistent. That's why like you, I don't really want to shiny hunt in it because it's so easy to just fuck up. There we go, quick attack. And since Pokemon can't, like, every Pokemon can just run away in this. It's not like Abra where they can, you know. Your luck in Pokemon Go has been fire as of late. You got a shiny Paris the other day, nice. I haven't loaded up Pokemon Go in months at this point. I do really need to go back and load up uh, Pokemon Home and get back to doing mystery trades. Okay. Uh, I guess since we have 50 balls, I mean, we can catch some more stuff. Nope. Again, don't know why it's doing that. That was bad. 
You have a perfect Shadow Crobat, though, which is pretty cool. Yeah, it's a shame they don't let you, um... You can't transfer Shadow Pokemon over... ...from, uh, from Pokemon Go into Pokemon Home. I have a shiny Mewtwo as well, nice. Yeah, when they introduced the update that, uh... I don't even know if it was a full update or whatever, but when they changed the incense to... not work, really, at all... Because it went from spawning something every minute to spawning something every five minutes, and it was just like, cool. I guess I don't care about community days anymore. And that was really the only reason why I would play the game. Like, yeah, I would load it up every day, but... That was only because since I was, you know, gonna play it some anyways. It was a good way to build back up items after... After getting cleaned out on a calm day, but... There we go. Kinda thought that would have been an excellent, actually. I'm really gonna need to, like, cut off this, uh, this strap. The incense nerf was ass, but at least we got the daily ones now. Yeah, I saw the, like, daily incense thing. I wasn't sure what it, uh, does, really. Because I didn't, again, this has been when I kind of stopped playing the game, so I've not cared. So I wasn't paying much attention. What does it do? So one of the things about catching a lot of Pokemon in this is, um, they give you candies. And so it's kind of similar to, um, Legends Arceus. Oh, Eevee found something. It's kind of similar to Legends Arceus where, um, you use, like, the, the candies to level up your stats. And you get them when you, uh, sometimes when you catch Pokemon and then also when you release them. We don't want to go that way. Let's just head into this town. Alright, I don't really want to talk to everyone. Only works with you when you're walking. Okay, cool. I don't care then. Like, the reason why I liked using incense was that on community days, you would just, you know, you find a spot with a couple of gyms, you post up, drop an incense, and just, you know, look for a shiny. And if that doesn't work, then I don't care. <laughs> like, I get they want to, like, encourage people to actually walk again, but, like, who the fuck cares? All right. So in some of these uh, Pokemon centers, there's a uh, a move tutor for uh, Eevee. Oh, well, I am Pikachu in that game, obviously, and it has moves that I think only exist in this game. I don't know if they uh, if the moves are the same for Eevee and Pikachu. In their respective games, but it's uh, they're really good moves too. It gives me an excuse to walk a mile around my neighborhood every day, and you need to do that. Well, the problem is I'm in a uh, Phoenix, and by like nine in the morning, it's already 
ungodly hot, so like, I'm not gonna go walk a mile when I am already like sweating buckets just being outside for like 10 seconds. Why you only do it at like 11 p.m.? That's fair. Raspberries? So I believe the raspberries and stuff, uh... ...work the same as Pokemon Go. Oh, here we go. We're actually going to have a battle. So yeah, there are still battles, but there's just not wild Pokemon battles. So like, honestly, there's more trainer... There's a lot more trainer battles than um, in Legends Arceus. Oh, wow. Do we start with... Tackle, Tail Whip, and Growl? Because we just learned Quick Attack at level 6. Huh. Anyways, just do that. Love that EV sits on your head. Yeah, I believe it does that in the, um... In the menus all the time. Uh... Does it run behind you? Actually, no, it might sit on your head all of the time. I forget. It's been a little bit since I've played this. But yeah, it's very adorable. Oh yeah, I guess it's just all the time. That makes sense. Right, because you can also have another Pokemon follow you as well. Uh, let me see. Yeah, so like I can take out like the Pidgey. Oh, right, yeah, you can play with them, too. Look how cute it is. This is, like, the best part about this game. Uh, can we... Oh, there we go. You have to actually, like, hold it while he eats it. Alright, cool. Uh, I believe it's the costume bag or clothing trunk. Here we go. So yeah, you can put clothes on the EV too. Uh, I don't think I'll do. I think I'll take the hat back off actually, because I don't really like how that uh, hat looks. But but yeah, this game's great about that stuff. Where'd all the Pokemon go? What the fuck? Ocean, okay. Uh, can we talk to this kid yet? Oh wait, no, it was the one uh, up higher. 
hand over the Eevee. <laughs> no thanks, it's my Eevee now. This thing's too damn cute. There we go, there's an excellent. So yeah, you can, uh... It's like Pokemon Go, there's the different, you know, levels and stuff, and the better you do, the more likely it is to catch. And, um, I believe it also helps you get, um, how do you get one IRL? I know, right? Uh, but yeah, I believe you can, uh, like, getting better catches also, I think it definitely gets you more XP. Or maybe not? I don't remember. I think it helps you get, uh, more items as well. Or at least more candies. And the other thing you can do is you can, um, basically chain them. Um, and that's, that massively helps with getting candies. And it also, uh, that's basically how you shiny hunt. So I forget if it's a, a catch combo of 20 or 30. Or sorry. 30 or 40, not 20 or 30. But yeah, once you do that, that's how you get to the uh, best possible shiny odds. Which are extremely good, by the way. They're like 1 in 240 or something. And since the Pokemon are shiny in the overworld, it's like super easy to do. How much does it help for shinies? I mean, a ton. Again, with a shiny charm and doing that, it's like 1 in 240 or something like that. Until uh, Legends Arceus came out, it was pretty much the easiest way to get shinies. Or the highest, uh... The highest shiny rate, I guess I should say. And then what you do is basically... So you need shiny charm, you need, uh, lures. Which, so they're the opposite of repels. And then, yeah, the catch combo. And... Oh, he gave me Pokeballs. Okay, cool. But then what you can do is, you can just, like, stand here. And you see how just stuff will spawn in? So, it'll be shiny when it spawns in. So you don't have to, you know, actually encounter them. So you can just sit here and let stuff spawn in. I have to get this game because with the hard nerf to outbreaks, you haven't played PLA. I assume that you just mean the one where they uh they made it so you can't repeat outbreaks by uh leaving the area and coming back. Cause yeah, that was a shame. The massive mass outbreaks are okay though. The the shiny rate in this is about the same as a massive mass outbreak. But yeah, I mean, if you're looking for Gen 1 Pokemon, this is one of the better ways to do it. And, like, I am using motion controls right now, but also if you just have your Switch undocked, you can just, like, hold it and, like, aim it. And that's how you, like, aim at the Pokemon to throw the ball. Sorry. The, uh, the light was kind of dark, and through the, uh, pop filter, it looked like it was off, and I was concerned that I'd been muted for a while. When they made the odds worse. I, they didn't make the um, the odds any worse, did they? I'm pretty sure they didn't change the odds. They just made it so you can't repeat them a bunch of times. Unless there's another update, but I don't remember hearing about another one. Okay, would anything like to spawn? course it's coming up there. They made the odds worse too than they thought? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure they're still like whatever really good odds they are. It's just because you can't, you know, 
reset it over and over again. You only have one shot, so it's like... You basically have to go to a hundred, you know, unique out... Actually, it's not even that bad, but like, you know, it's... It, it's not as useful because you can't farm it. But in theory, the odds for any individual outbreak are still the same. So yeah, Viridian Forest has... A lot of frame rate drops, and it's also one of the best places in the game to shiny hunt because, I mean, the most stuff spawns. You can see how much room... I mean, you can already see there's like six Pokemon on screen here. Uh, you gonna battle? Should probably catch some of these. I'm not gonna bother completing the Pokedex, but like... Again, because you get the candies sometimes from catching stuff. It's pretty good for that. Also, this game does have the uh, always-on XP share, so there's, like, not a lot of reason to not use the Eevee. Especially because, again, I mentioned the, uh, the moves earlier, which are, like... Really good moves, generally. Oh, that's what it is. God, I'm, like, hearing a noise, like, in the background of, like, the room or whatever. Because it sounds like a pretty loud hum or something. But no, it's, there's uh, construction equipment outside because they're, like, repaving a road. But yeah, this was like one of the best areas for me for uh, catching shinies was just like sitting over here and just letting stuff spawn. If you plan on shiny hunt, shiny completed decks. Yeah, but I'm not going to shiny hunt in this. Okay, it's probably going to pop up every time if I don't do that at least once. Because yeah, I've already done a bunch of shiny hunting in this game. And... Just trying, trying to shiny hunt with the motion controls is just asking for trouble. Because when I did it, it was before I was even streaming. And so I would just be in handheld mode because that's way more reliable. You don't have to worry about motion controls screwing you. So now this is just a casual playthrough just so I can have something on a uh, YouTube for it. Uh, catch, uh, I guess we'll still need a Weedle, even if I catch this. Uh, let's see. There's a good chance that catches. Shouldn't have opened my mouth. There we go. If that doesn't work, then we'll use a berry. Hey, there we go. Also, the other thing is you can't, because there's two separate versions of the game, you do have to trade to complete the Pokedex in this. Just do Pokemon Smash or Pass and become famous. Jesus. That's, uh, that's so fucking weird. Like, I know, like, a lot of people make jokes about, like, Gardevoir and Lopunny and shit, but, like, also, that's really weird, guys. Like, I get, I'm pretty sure it's mostly a joke, but also, like, n no. Bellsprout learning double kick? No, that's Eevee. Okay. Man, this, uh... 
Webcam is not in a good spot for this. Uh, that's tail whip, so we can get rid of that. Oh, yeah, that's way easier. Uh, yeah, we'll forget tail whip. Who <laughs> needs Gardevoir Shuckles, the one true bay? God. Okay, I couldn't even move there. That was cool. Almost knocked over my energy drink. That would have been a disaster. Oh, that's bullshit. That was an excellent throw. Or he could become famous the fun way and just be good at challenges or Pokemon Showdown. Yeah, I was thinking about that today. I should probably, like, try out ROM hacks or something. But, like... Oh, there's a Weedle. Cool. But also, with the new games coming out so soon, I'm not gonna have time for that, really. So maybe after, like, I beat, uh, the new game, I'll look into, like, doing a ROM hack or a ROM or something. Because I should probably always just have, like, a playthrough going on. Kind of similar to this, where, like, I just do it, like, once a week. Okay, so now that we have that, let me... So, the nice thing about this is this was actually the first game where you have the, uh... You always have your Pokemon box on you. At least I believe it was the first one. Um... I might take the Kakuna. Shiny. Dude, the Shiny-only playthroughs, I do not understand why people... Why that's, like, interesting to people. Like, the some of the challenge stuff, like, you know... Monotype, Nuzlocke, I don't have any interest in doing a Nuzlocke. Um, stuff like that, like that, okay, that's cool. Um, I don't get the shiny only thing, because it's just time consuming, it's not difficult at all. Like, it just seems like you're making your playthrough take a hundred times as long for zero reason. Uh, so I think I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna take Caterpie. Uh, can I remove that too? Okay. Okay, I see. Alright. And then... Yeah, we'll take Kakuna. You just like seeing the shinies. I mean, I'm sure part of it is the same as, you know, just normal shiny hunting. Because it's like, yeah, it's really cool to see shinies. But, like... Like, I just don't get why you would want to do that as part of a playthrough. Like, even the people who, uh... Did resets to try and get the shiny... A shiny starter... In, a. Uh, the Gen 4 remakes before, like, even, you know, actually, like, playing through the game. Like, that I get, because you want to play through with that shiny starter, but, like, other than that, like, I, I just... I don't know. Randomized Nuzlocke. I just... Some of the restrictions with that, I'm just like, I, I just don't care to do it myself. It's not even that I don't think they're interesting, I just don't care to do it. Like, isn't there some rule about whatever the first Pokemon you see in an area is the one that you have to catch? Or, like, you have to catch that species, and that's the only one you can get from that area, and some shit like that. It's just like, why are we making this so complicated? 
Like, honestly, the releasing Pokemon if they faint, I don't think is as stupid. The first Pokeper route. Yeah, see, that's that's the reason why, right there, why I would never do that. Just because that just seems not, like, if I wanted to be that weird, I'm just going to do, a, like, a randomizer. Which I guess is what you said, randomized Nuzlocks, but also, like, I... I, I just feel like it would be more interesting just to randomize everything, see what's in, you know, each route. And if there's something you want, you take it. It's supposed to make it a challenge so you can only get one. Right, I get that. I just don't understand the appeal of that being the challenge. Other than, again, just doing a randomizer. Because Nuzlocke's only, aren't just randomized. There are, like, normal Nuzlocke's. Oh, hey, there's a Pikachu. Higher points, it's supposed to be harder. Right, but like, again, just just a normal randomizer is going to do that. Because you don't have any idea what you're going to get. So you're just going to have to work with whatever you do. And maybe you start with a Ditto as your starter. You know? It's like... Mind you, again, to be clear, I don't care that other people do it or anything. Whatever. Like, I understand it makes it kind of harder because you have zero control over what your next Pokemon's going to be. It's just, to me, I just don't have any appeal in doing that. I would rather just have it be more difficult in general. Oh yeah, so I think these games, because they mention a Bulbasaur being in this forest, I believe these games are largely based off of Yellow version. In terms of, like, spawn pools and stuff like that. Um, let's do double kick. I don't know if it's going to do a whole lot. No, it's not going to do anything. I just wanted to use something other than double kick for once. Or other than quick attack for once, rather. I should see if I've gotten any of the um, stack candy items. Uh, candy drawer. We've got nothing. Okay, cool. YouTube idea you had was Pokemon Showdown Nuzlocke where you play Gen 1 having to make teams and get to 1500 but if a Pokemon dies you can't use it again. Uh, that could be interesting. I feel like the problem there is, like, you have... You're you're absolutely going to be have, have, like, your best chance when you start. And every time you a Pokemon gets knocked out, it's just going to get incredibly harder until, like... Might be impossible, though, considering how often you straight up force to sacrifice. Yeah, it's just, like... Especially doing just Gen 1, it's like you're only going to do a few battles before you're basically not going to be able to do it. Because there's only so many Pokemon that are actually going to be of any use.
I don't think making it harder because of your failing. Like, you know, making the actual battles actually harder is like... Great. All right. See, I didn't use the Metapod that I had already caught before, because being it was only like a level three, that was really gonna suck to like try and level up. I guess it doesn't matter as much because you can just leave it in your party in this game. Uh. Party. Pokemon Showdown, but you can only use Stage 1 Pokes. I was gonna say, isn't that just Little Cup? But no, Little Cup's different because it's... It's only stuff that has... Mol or has an evolution. Whereas just Stage 1 Mons could in theory be a... Uh, I... Yeah. It could, you know, be stuff like a... Uh, do I have anything on me that would be an example? No, damn it. But stuff that just like doesn't evolve at all, anyways. Uh, let me let me get rid of Metapod. I love how I just evolved it. Uh, add Pikachu. Um, God, why did I just catch? Did I catch a Caterpie? I did catch a Caterpie, right? Let me try and get a Bulbasaur. Then your opponents will likely be using legendaries and stuff. True, yeah. So, a nice thing... Okay, I'll go ahead back then. Uh, a nice thing about this game with the catch combos is... You can leave the area and come back and continue from where you left off. Which is a very nice difference from BDSP, where if you leave the area at all, it breaks your chain. Isn't that pulling straight down on it? Oh. And you can also do the catch combo not just in that area. So yeah, because Bulbasaur is a, um, it's considered a rare spawn, so it has a different spawn table for it. Uh, and you can actually boost the odds of getting one of those by getting a, uh, longer catch combo. You know, I guess I could. There is a way I could do a shiny hunt in this game. In fact, actually, I was kind of considering... Oops, this doesn't work. I was kind of considering doing this when I first started streaming. I actually talked about it. It's just... I could um do all the catch combo stuff and then go and just, like, sit somewhere and uh, wait for a, a shiny to spawn. Oh, can I not buy lures yet? Damn. Uh, do I need anything then? No. Oh, but yeah, wait for a shiny spawn and then just use the Master Ball on it. There's actually a way to get more Master Balls. Um, which I guess I could do that on stream a little bit as well. But yeah, there's a way to get more Master Balls by, uh, if you go to the Cerulean Cave... There is a very, very small chance that uh, it can spawn in there as, like, an item drop just on the ground. But it's such a low chance that, like, you're going to be doing that for a long time. Like, I did that for a little bit, and after a while of doing that, I was just like, okay, this sucks. I don't want to do this. But since I'm playing through the game again... 
I will get the Master Ball after I beat the game, so I can do that. I can do that to get my Ditto, actually. I don't think I will, though. I think I'm kind of committed to uh, getting my Ditto in, uh, in BDSP, doing the chaining and that. Considering it defeated me so... just thoroughly. Uh, what's up this side? But yeah, doing a catch combo helps with the, um, getting a rare spawn. And... Did I battle you yet? And also, if you use a lure, that also helps, but I don't have access to lures yet. And another nice thing is, um, if you encounter something that's would interrupt your catch combo, you can just run away. It doesn't matter. It doesn't count against your combo. So yeah, this is a, this is a really good game to um, shiny hunt in if you can play in handheld mode. But that makes it not a great game to uh, stream and shiny hunt for. Now, I don't remember if battling will interrupt my, uh, my catch combo or not. I don't think it does, because it's not... I've only been up this way, whoops. Uh, because it's not, I mean, it's not a catch, so it doesn't change it, but... We are fairly early on, so if I did that, I wouldn't be the end of the world. But also, the place that I would, um, do my shiny hunting for... Well, again, I guess I don't have to do Ditto. I could do, like, um, Charmander or something. I forget where that is. I, it would have to be somewhere where, like, everything that I would catch there is a, um... It's like a Pokemon that I still need shiny. Just so that way, whatever I do get... Is not like gonna, uh. It's not gonna be like, oh great, I got a shiny I already have. Go. Should leave the XP screen up for a second here. Uh, actually, okay, yeah. So you can see, like, I have like a two times multiplier right now for that catch, at least. And yeah, the combo. The further uh, the further you get into your catch combo, the uh, the higher that gets. So it's also a really good way for getting XP. It just sucks because the later Pokemon that you would, uh... Okay, guess we're gonna find out if, uh, this is gonna interrupt me or not. But yeah, it just sucks because, like, Cerulean Cave, all the Pokemon in there run away really easily. And since you can't just knock out Pokemon to, like, battle, you know, in a battle... There's, like, yeah, it's just, it can be a little bit of a pain. But yeah, maybe that'll be my goal tonight. I'll try and catch a Bulbasaur. Okay, and there's a Caterpie right there. Uh, it looks like I still have a catch combo going. Let's see, let's just catch this. I was gonna turn off the webcam for a second, but... 
again, Pokemon can run away in this game. And if you just sit there waiting, that they can actually just run away on you. It's not just like, oh, you threw a ball, now it's going to run away. I believe I have a combo. It looks like that was a very high multiplier. Yep, okay. It's good to know. Oh, almost went. All right. I should see real quick. Hold on. Uh, that wasn't really what I wanted to click on, but whatever. There we go. Sorry, I was like trying to read on my screen here. The like tiny little text on Cerebi. Um. Also, yeah, by the way, so if you get a 31 or higher catch combo, you get. You have a 1 in 273 um, shiny rate. That's with a shiny charm and a lure. Okay. And as long as I get up to a... Um, interesting. Okay. Cool. Sorry, I'm like, I feel like there's more information on this page than there used to be. I wonder if they've done more, people have looked into it more. Um, anyways. So yeah, I only need to get up to a, uh, 11 combo. It says 11 plus, so I'll do like 12. Uh, and then that'll give me the best odds for a Bulbasaur appearing. Because it would be kind of fun to play through this with, um, like all the starters. We do like Eevee, the three starters. We could do a Pikachu, I guess. Um, kind of don't want to though. I'm not sure what else I would use though. Probably just something to fill in for the rest of them, or just like cover whatever uh, I don't have coverage for yet. What? I should see if any of my uh, Mel Metal can be transferred into this and use one of those. <laughs> Since that was added in this generation. I'm not sure I'll be able to, though. Also, it is kind of weird that you can't... You can't get Meltan or Mel Metal in this game, but you have... At least early on, you had to have this game to get Meltan in... Um, Pokemon Go. Oh, hi, Beedrill. Uh, well, I would catch you for the XP, but that kind of fucks me if I do that. There's 10, so we'll get two more, and then we'll just hang out somewhere. But yeah, uh, this area in um, in handheld mode can actually... It, ha it has a lot of frame rate dropping. Especially in, like, a couple areas when you're, like, running around. It, like, really chugs. So I'm assuming that's part of why, like, Sword and Shield doesn't look as good, because they wanted it to... Well, I say they wanted it to be more consistent, but then Wild Area, when 
you're in online mode is a absolute shit fest. Is that? Hey! Right on cue! What's up, buddy? I do like the first time you see a Pokemon. It uh, has like it's a running up animation. I'm glad they don't do that every time. Like, you know, the um, the friendship message thing in BDSP, where every time before every turn, there's a message about the your fucking Pokemon. And she's like, why? Why did you do this? So I'm glad they don't do that animation every time. Okay, well, I'm glad Bellsprout leveled up. Unfortunately, I think it's about to get replaced. Because... Since I'm going to have another... I'm going to have Bulbasaur as my grass type. Uh, sort... Pokedex number. Okay, um... So, we got Rattata. Rattata will probably be next, to be honest. Alright, add Bulba. And then I'm going to go ahead and send to Professor. So yeah, you can release this stuff just the same as um, in uh, Legends Arceus. Uh, we'll keep that bell sprout because, you know. Uh, actually, we should keep a Metapod as well. All right, that was a fun sneeze. Oh, wow, that's a lot of candies. Also, a XL candy? Holy shit. He tested stage one mon only and got swept by a Starmie, so fuck that. Yeah, I, uh, I had a feeling that wasn't going to end terribly well, but... Okay, we'll put you one. I'm just doing this to help with my, uh... Being able to see what's in my party easily. Although, I guess there is this button for that, but... But yeah, it's nice that you can, like, resort your Pokemon as well. Alright, so Brock should be pretty easy with that, uh... Bulbasaur. And, uh... And Misty, for that matter. Not that this game is particularly hard, but... I'll find some fun, uh, some other fun idea for a challenge because you've been wanting to try YouTube for a while. Yeah, you definitely should. Mm, definitely potential there for a a fun or goofy challenge, but all right, we can move on now. Oh yeah, this game also didn't have, um, HMs at all. Or, I mean, they're there, but they're not, like... It's like BDSP and whatnot, where you don't actually have to put them on a Pokemon. I think, technically, they get put onto, um, Eevee, actually. And then, um, Eevee does... Does it, but you don't have to, like... It doesn't take up a move slot. It's just like something that happens in the overworld. Showdown has a surprisingly solid fan base too. I mean, it doesn't surprise me at all. It's a very easy way to do competitive, uh, competitive Pokemon. Easy as in, you know, accessible. Because you don't have to actually like 
train stuff up. You can just do the battling part of it. Okay, lures. Let me guess, this is repel? Yeah. I guess I don't really need lures or, at all at this point, though. Oh, also, they're not even available yet. Okay. Trying to get top 100 in at least one of the game modes at the moment. How, like... How big is the player base on Showdown? As in, like... I guess it doesn't really matter. As long as there's, like, more than a couple hundred people, then it's always going to be a, a pain in the ass to get top 100 and something. I'm not sure why I'm running around talking to everyone, because I kind of don't care, to be honest. But, at the same time, I'm hoping someone gives me an item or something. Saying there's around 10k players. Ah, okay, gotcha. God, I don't know why. That sneeze has made me, like, super congested all of a sudden. I assume it's just, you know, something got thrown up higher into my sinuses, but, like, Jesus. Oh, here we go. I think this is the dude that teaches you moves. Oh, also, maybe this is the person that does it. I don't need that. Uh, but yeah, also in these uh, Pokemon centers, some of them have uh, trainers. They'll do an in-game trade with you. Where basically they have the uh, Alolan Pokemon. So you just trade the normal version to them. Or the Kanto version anyways. And... Uh... Oh, can we do this yet? Can we get a free nugget yet? Oh, cool. Easy money. So yeah, this is like the one of the easiest ways to get money in this game. Because this gets you a nugget, I believe. That or a pearl. Oh, a big pearl. Yep. So I think that's the one that's worth 4,000? There's a couple other areas where, like, every day you can get an, uh, item. Oh, but I should probably go to the museum first before I talk to Brock. Need at least 1,500 to even be ranked. Start at 1,000, you earn... On average, 20 per win. Gotcha. I guess. Do we get anything from doing this? I don't think I actually came in here to look at this stuff. When I did my playthrough. Because there's not really a reason uh, to do this. I know on the other side, you can talk to uh, the scientist for uh, opening up... Open up fossils, but... I 
think I'll just record me playing normal matches and see if anything funny happens. Interesting, they just have a straight-up space shuttle in here. So yeah, there's really no reason to come up here, huh? But yeah, Neptune, just like recording stuff and just waiting to see if there's anything interesting is not a bad way to do it. Because like you don't have to upload anything that isn't good. Okay. Belly Dremlin Noon is pretty funny. Watch people forfeit. Yeah. I love how it forces you to bring a grass or a water type to this. Okay, well, I was going to use Bulbasaur, but I didn't realize it was a level 3. Actually, you know what? We have a Fighting-type move on Eevee, so this will be fine. And even if I don't, I have 6 Pokemon. We're not going to have much trouble. If a quick attack would finish this off. Uh, let's see. I don't. I don't think it will, to be honest. Oh, okay, just enough. There we go. Another level. Also, I should use my uh, my candies. So another thing about this is um, the candies kind of end up working like EVs, as in effort values, not EV, the Pokemon that's right in front of me. Um, but there's no, there's a cap for each stat, but there's no, like, 255 total cap, so you can max out every stat. So you can just pump a ton of candies into Eevee and just make it completely broken. What does happen at a certain point, though, is it does start to cost more than one per. And then eventually, like, it kind of get Yeah, you can see here now it costs two candies for each uh, stat increase. Oh. And it had the large and the XL candies, you have to be large, level 30. And uh, XL for... You need to be level 60. EV on roids. Yeah, I mean, like, there's no reason not to, because it is absolutely super strong. I wonder, can you look at IVs from the start on this game? I don't remember. Oh, wow, I don't have enough. Okay. Uh, let's see. Party. Check summary. Okay, so it doesn't really show me its stats. Although, I shouldn't bother increasing its speed, because or its attack, because its attack is going to suck. It's going to be fast as fuck, though. Everything here except for the Pikachu and the Eevee has a neutral nature. Interesting. 
God, why did it have to be attack that's down? God damn it. But yeah, like, you can't really see the stats, I guess. I wanted to show how it has, a uh, max IVs, but, oh well. But yeah, it does. You'll just have to believe me on that. It does have 31 IV in every stat. And the Pikachu is the same way. It does suck that you can't uh, transfer these. The the starter Pikachu and the starter Eevee. The ones that you catch in game you can transfer, but you can't transfer these ones. Which, I mean, kind of makes sense because, again, their stats are kind of whack, but... Took you that long to get to level four, Bulbasaur? Jesus. All right, forget how many Pokemon he has here. I think three, no, just two. Wow. Okay. So yeah, we'll uh, we'll take these out real quick. Wow, this might actually do some damage. Some, being the very key word there. Take this out. Okay. Keep battling. This would be a really good time to have a water Pokemon, but I think double kick should still be fine. It might take three. Uh, I might get it in two. Also, another interesting thing about this game, um, because I just remembered because of the symbol on the right side there, you can actually play this game in co-op. Kind of. You Only one person moves around, but both people can throw balls and both people can battle with Pokemon. It's 2.30, you gotta head out and get some sleep. Alright, Neptune, I'll see you later, man. Thanks for tuning in. I'll probably wrap up before too long here. I did start kind of late. I don't want to go too late tonight. Maybe not, though. I'll probably go for, like, another 30 minutes. Oh, Eevee wants something. Uh, there we go. Oh, yeah, that reminds me. There's, like, some way to, like, get a... There's like a bullshit free move that you can get at the beginning of battle with Eevee. Or it's not like a free move, but it's like a special move or something. I forget exactly what it is. Ah, oh, what's up, Blue? Hey, there we go. We got Great Balls, finally. out Bulbasaur. Uh, let's go heal up, and then we'll just move on to the next town. I'll have to look up at some point. I think I know where you can get... Never mind, I, I remember where you get Squirtle and Charmander.
But yeah, because I definitely want to get those and add them to my party. Um, can I talk to this guy? No. Huh. Alright, maybe it's the uh, the next Pokemon Center where you get the, uh, the move tutor for Eevee. Because the moves you get for that are pretty dang good. Uh, can you just go out that side? I guess so. Is there anything up here? No. Because you have to use Cut to go talk to the, um, the actual scientist for the fossils. So I don't think you have to battle these Yeah, so, like, you can run in front of them and not battle them, but it's a good idea to, because they're pretty strong. Also, I should probably, uh, I should not say all show, but, um, a I pro should probably save at some point here. And also, when you beat the game... There's, a uh, Master Trainers everywhere. Uh, they're basically for each species of Pokemon. So you, um... Basically, you, you want to train up a level 100 of, like, each species. And that includes, like, Caterpie and Metapod and Butterfree. Because you can only, um... I believe they only use that species, and you can only use that species. That could be kind of fun to do. I don't think you really get anything for doing that, which is a shame. Nice. Uh, we'll keep our old moves. I don't care about sand attack. Pikachu leveled up. Nice. Uh, we'll forget something. Yep. Now we'll get to ready tail whip again. I don't really ever use uh, the stat change moves, but I definitely don't care about those ones. Oh, nice. Revive. Yeah, let me save real quick as soon as we're done with this uh, conversation. Oh, let me, uh, let me look at options, too. What do we got here? I, I still can't believe that it's an item that you have to find in Sword and Shield to change the the volume of stuff. Uh, definitely set that to fast. Alright, uh, was there more over this way? Alright, let me go down first. I definitely want to battle everyone because you re you really don't get all that much experience from battling. You mostly end up getting experience from catching stuff. But, uh... Since I don't want to spend too much time just catching stuff over and over again, I definitely want to make sure I battle as much as possible. But we'll see. I would like to get up to... At least get up to Misty. Before we wrap up tonight. Also, I really need to be catching more. As much as I don't want to spend a ton of time doing that. Like, we already have a shit ton of balls. Because you get Pokeballs every time you... Well, actually, not as many as I thought. Okay. I thought you'd have more. But yeah, since you get Pokeballs pretty much every time you battle someone... And just the same amount randomly in the open, too. Okay. Alright. Oh. Did he not look right at me? I would have sworn he looked right at me. Okay. Oh, Spearow. We haven't seen one of those yet. 
I do know they're in this version, because that's how I got my shiny Spiro and Firo. God, I really need something other than just normal moves. I can't use Double Kick because it's a flying type. Down here, grab this. A potion, don't really care. I like never really end up using healing items. Because it's like you can just go back to town and heal. It's like it's helpful in caves and that's about it. Again, another Pokemon that I can't use Double Kick on. But yeah, I had, I had forgotten that you can get the Alolan forms of Pokemon through the in-game trades of this game. Oh god, I might have to do that, honestly. Depends on, like, what Alolan forms are possible to breed for in, um... I'm blanking on the name of it. In a uh, Scarlet and Violet. Because I would like to get all the Alolan forms at some point. But I'm kind of scared some of those are going to be a pain in the ass unless you have a Gen 7 game. Uh, is Eevee still poisoned? It is. I love how I just said I like don't ever use uh, healing items. But uh, if I already have them, I might as well use them. It is still faster than buying antidotes. It's just, I just don't care to do it usually. I'd rather spend the money on Pokeballs. My, okay, I'm not dropping frames. I don't know why my, uh, my laptop completely just, like, stopped for a second there. Uh, Nidoran, quick attack. We'll probably, uh, oh wow, we almost got that. Cool, it wasted a turn. Alright. Well, they're giving me great balls as well, wow. I'll, like, try to catch whatever Pokemon I come across. Nope. Out. There we go. Hey, there we go. Because, I mean, if the game's going to keep on giving me a bunch of Pokeballs, I might as well keep catching stuff. God, that is, like, no experience to get. I get it's a Rattata, but, like, what the fuck? Oh, that was a sneaky little thing to hide. Oh, lure. Nice. That will be very useful when I try to catch the, um... The Charmander and the... The Squirtle. I think I will keep Pikachu as well. I'll evolve it into a Raichu, but, like, it's such an iconic Pokemon, you know? Maybe like a Dratini that I can eventually evolve into Dragonite, and then I don't know what I'll do for my sixth. Double kick, because that'll be super well. There's really no reason to do double kick here, but because it's way overkill. Way overkill. But yeah, I mean, other than, you know, Eevee, I can put different moves on for coverage, because, again, the move tutor. And then, um, a fire, a water, a, a grass type, an electric type, and a dragon type. And flying, actually. Dragon, I hope, dragon flying. So will Charmander, though. Or Charizard, rather. 
But I don't know what I would do for my sixth. Because I wanted, whatever it is, I wanted to have coverage. I might plan that tonight. Speaking of doing things off stream, though, because I didn't really do that. Uh, I do have all my uh, VODs uploaded. Uh, and they're scheduled to go live for uh, the shiny Galarian Weezing. And... Oh, there we go. Spiro. Um, I do still need to edit the highlight. I didn't really mess with the Pokedex tracker stuff and, like, update info cards and stuff like I said I would. I know, I know, I'm the worst. Um, at some point I'll get around to it. Maybe tonight. Maybe tomorrow, since I'm not streaming tomorrow. Tomorrow night would be a good time to really do that. There we go, excellente. There we go. Uh, but to go back, just a minute here, on the, um... The doing the in-game trades for the Lowland forms. I'm... The thing about that is, and the reason why I kind of don't want to do it, is, uh... The Shiny Charm doesn't work on those. So it's yearly one in, uh, 4,096. So, you know, that's not really fun. Oh, uh, is it 4,096? I can exact whatever the number is. It's over 4,000. And it's gonna, you know, take a while to do that. There's Spiro. I might actually take Beedrill out of the party now. Because, like, I'm not gonna use it. Really, ever. So yeah, let me go to the boxes. We can move our Metapod back in. We can evolve that. I don't... Right. Add party. There we go. Um... Because yeah, I'm not really going to try and complete the Pokedex in this, but like, if I can get close, I might do it. I'm just, I'm not that concerned about it. Because, I'm not, again, I'm not really going to shiny hunt in this. And if I do, it's going to be like the, um, you know, the, the trades thing. Other than like the one shiny hunt. Oh, right. I did mention, uh, honestly, hold on a second. Let me pull up that page. How much effect does shiny charm even end up having? Nah. I don't really need to. It's still 1 in 300. Or just over 300 with just, um... The catch combo and the lure. So, like... I don't really need to. It's fine. It's not the best possible odds, but I mean... Best odds is still 1 in 273. And just the lure and the catch combo is 1 in 315. So, like... It's close enough. Um, let me actually run up here and heal first. Also, maybe there'll be a trade thing in here? Let's see. You made an outrageous $500 and got a Magikarp? Wait, so it literally just gives you a Magikarp? That's awesome. That's... Fantastic, I love that. Uh, I guess we'll put that in the party. Because, yeah, we don't really need Rattata. We already have a normal type. And we actually don't have a water type yet. Is it a level 2? No, it's level 5. So, yeah, like, that's... That's fine. I mean... Obviously, we need to evolve it before it's of any use, but... Uh, anyone on this side?
Okay. Eventually, one of these is going to have the move tutor, I swear. To be clear, it's not like the move tutor, but it's the one for... Well, there's multiple of them because they have different moves. Um, but it it's for Eevee. Okay. How do you trip over a Geodude, like, on the ground? Like, how do you not notice that? It's a rock with arms. Like, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be kind of obvious, right? Alright, let's see what this dude has. Ugh. Sorry for that yawn. Should have muted, actually. Meowth. Oh, right, Meowth. I want to say Meowth might be one of the version exclusives. Payday would not be a terrible move to have. But I can't catch this Meowth, so it doesn't really matter. Do I get the extra coins because I win the battle? Yeah, I do. Okay. I was wondering if that would work like that. I wasn't sure if it's just for, um... Oh, and I get the TM for it. Nice. Yeah, I wasn't sure if it's just for the, uh, whoever wins the battle. Though I guess it's that would be just you, but I wasn't I wasn't sure if the other trainer using it would uh proc it for you. Cause that was one of the uh the early money grinding methods in uh Sword and Shield. Was you would do the um the tournament by going to the stadium, and you would use the um just a meowth with payday with uh, the amulet coin and just like oh look at the meowth sleeping that's adorable I don't remember ever seeing that I wonder if that's supposed to be like the team rocket meowth because team rocket is in this cave or specifically uh, Jesse and James I think it must be Oh, yep, it was supposed to be Meowth. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, well, they stopped me from getting into a... a thing with that Geodude, which sucks because now it disappeared. Boy, thank God that Geodude wasn't shiny. Oh, my God, could you imagine if that had been a shiny Geodude? Well, I mean, I wouldn't have really cared because I already have Geodude, but, like... One really nice thing about this game, as opposed to, like, the original Gen 1 games, or even, like, um... God, oh, this is gonna be a pain in the ass. This is gonna be an absolute pain in the ass. Um, but as opposed to, like, OG Gen 1 or the, uh, remakes in Gen 3, is, uh, avoiding all the Zubats in this cave is much easier. Because you don't have to... If you don't want to encounter them, you just don't. We're going to use a lot of Pokeballs on this thing. I'm not using a Great Ball on the fucking Zubat. Besides the fact that it's a Zubat, but also because they move around like that. That was weird. Um, But it's just so many of these I'm going to whiff on. There we go. And now I will never catch another one of those. Nice. Level up Bulbasaur. Level up Eevee. Nice. Bulbasaur got a new move. Do this battle.
All right. I would like to at least get through. Uh, this isn't Swirling Cave. This is a Mount Moon. But I would like to get through this before I wrap up the stream tonight. Pikachu leveled up. Very nice. Love to see it. Nice, more Great Balls. How many Great Balls do I even have at this point? I assume it's a few. We have 14. All of those have been gifts. I haven't bought a single one yet. Geodude. I think Geodude can move around as well, but it's not nearly as bad as um, Zubat. Zubat, unsurprisingly, is annoying as fuck. Nope. Though I say that, it wasn't too bad in uh, Legends Arceus. Murkrow and Paris, on the other hand. God damn. Especially Murkrow. Murkrow would aggro on you from the other side of the planet. And apparently so would Ursa Ring. Remembering that fucking catching the shiny Goomy, and it just like you can watch in the background as it just starts running up on me from way the fuck away. I mean, like it had no business being aggroed on me. And you just see it run the whole way, and like you realize. Oh, speaking of Paris, you realize as it like gets close, it's like holy shit, that's actually coming at me. There we go, first try. Love to see it. Yeah, I definitely want to cut the strap off. Like, it's... I, I have it on my wrist right now, because that's just... It's easier if the strap's gonna be there, and there's no way to easily remove it. Is there even, like, a screw that I can pull on this thing? Hold on. Oh, there are a couple of small, like, really small Phillips heads. I don't think I can... I don't have anything that small to take it apart, though. And also, it's just easier to cut the damn thing. Oh, that was in the circle. Bullshit. I disagree. Fucking Angel Hernandez is calling my goddamn throws now. There's a very small group of people. Well, I shouldn't say a small group of people that would get that reference. There's a small group of people that play Pokemon that will get that reference. And if you do, I love you. And also, fuck Angel Hernandez. Be nice if I can ever get another move for Eevee that doesn't suck. Magikarp leveled up, nice. Love to see it. What's funny is probably like right No, I probably won't that thing's not gonna get anywhere near evolving. Oh hey. Perfect. Thank you for despawning that Zubat. I was about to run into that thing. Um, I don't know why I care. I'm going to battle this guy anyways. Oh, hey, let's battle. 
before that zoo bat gets up on top of me. Oh, he has a muck. Hey, did you know if you spell muck backwards, it's spelled... Anyways... That doesn't even work with you don't set up. God damn it, I'm so fucking stupid. <laughs> you have to set that up with the Akins beforehand. I assume I want to follow where, uh, Jesse went over there, but... Oh, hi, Cleffery. Oh, no. There we go. That worked. See, that's the thing that I was mentioning before, I think on my last stream, how trying to throw at angles is just, like, so inconsistent. There we go. There's the excellent throw. There we go. You'll have to see it. All right. New move? Nope. Maybe Bulba? Nope. Okay. Alright. Let's battle you real quick. I might end up going a little bit later than I wanted to. This game is probably going to take me a little bit. Oh, Mankey. I know for a fact Mankey is one of the Pokemon that I can't, uh, you can't get in Let's Go Eevee. Uh, I forget. Is this going to be super effective if I do this? I'm just, like, fiddling around with the, uh, the Joy-Con. I'm just like, wait, why is this thing not pushing in? Oh, right, because I have the strap in a weird spot. Okay. So let me go downstairs real quick. I just want to explore this a little bit. I don't necessarily want to battle anything. Oh god, it goes further. Why is there a Team Rocket run in here? Uh, let me save real quick. I don't know... I don't remember there being grunts in here. I forgot about that animation. That's neat. And I just never realized that it, like, takes off as, like, a rocket. That's cool. Yeah, 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 quick attack. Though, funnily enough, quick attack's like the only time that I take damage. Because I'm already just like stomping on everything with Eevee. The only thing that kind of sucks about doing that is you get reduced XP because you're, you know, a higher level. Oh, okay, there's nothing else in here. Cool. Oh, nice. Rare candy. Love to see it. I will definitely wait to use that. I'm in no hurry to use it. Oh, ho, ho, that was so close to timing it. Gave me that one. 
Don't know why it didn't give me that other one then, but whatever. But yeah, I'll save the rear candy until... Either, like, I'm, like, actually, you know, stuck somewhere somehow, which is kind of unlikely. I don't think that's really gonna happen. Um, as long as I'm not, like, completely stupid. Oh, talk to me. There we go. Um, but yeah, either that or I'll use it right before the Elite Four. Is Pidgey ready to evolve yet, or is it level 16? Uh, Sand Attack is not the... Yeah, we'll forget that. Even though I know that lowering accuracy is a really good way to, uh... You know, make battles a lot easier, but... Catch you too, since you have the huge thing. Wow, I like timed that one perfectly by the frames. So that other one must have been just like one frame too early. The other thing is, I'm getting like lag with the like doing the motion and the ball actually going out, so it's making it a little bit harder to uh, time it because it's not like consistent. It's like usually throwing the ball, but sometimes it's just like, it waits like a full second and then it throws it out. Which is just like kind of weird. All right, back up the ladder. Glad I came down here. Nothing spawned the entire tunnel, huh? And then a whole fleet of Pokemon spawned there, interesting. I believe that's one of the ways that you can kind of cheese the, um... Like, shiny hunting, is you can just go up and down a ladder a whole bunch and it'll spawn stuff around you. And I believe that stuff only spawns on your screen. It can spawn on screen and then run off and it'll stay persistent in the world, but I believe stuff only spawns on screen. Um... Clefairy is normal fairy, so let's not hit it with a fighting type move. Oh boy, here we go. Here we go with this shit. I have an awakening, but I don't really care. That's attack down or defense down? Attack down. That's fine, we'll still knock it out with one hit. Hey, there we go. I think I actually like, pressed A and skipped over the uh, the waking up text. But... Alright. Hey, there we go. I might swap this back out for Rattata, to be honest. Because I don't really need a Butterfree. I was just doing it to evolve it. Um, so yeah, I'll probably do that. I forget if you get something. Or like completing not all of the Pokedex. But just like as you complete more and more of it. I can check right now. I haven't actually looked at the Pokedex in this, uh, on this playthrough yet. So we've got an 18, we've seen 25. There's nothing in here to evaluate, which is a shame. Uh, we'll look at... Hmm. I'm not gonna release anything just yet because we're not really full. I forget what the cap is on how many Pokemon you can have, but it's a lot. Oh, Onyx. This is gonna try and this is gonna suck to try and catch, but 
honestly, I might actually use... Yeah, let's go ahead and use a raspberry. And then we'll actually swap to great balls. Because... Oh, wow, I sailed that one over here. <laughs> I was worried about having to throw it really hard. I just completely airmailed it. Okay. Don't be an asshole. Come on. Ah! Oh, I was hoping that was going to be in the circle. Come on! Onyx, you're not even very good. Come on. Don't be like this. It took my bear and ran away. That asshole. Okay. Fuck you too, Onyx. Uh, we'll go downstairs real quick. Ooh, nuggets good. Also reminds me, I still need to sell that, um... The big pearl. Okay, I don't care to be in here. I would, like, try and catch stuff, but I don't need to mess around with the Zubat. <laughs> also, I do kind of need to progress. I'm already at, like, when I wanted to finish up at, so... And we got at least a little bit more to go here. Oh, Santru. Uh, what is quick attack? I don't think it's going to do a whole lot because it's... Oh, but it crit. Oh, also I thought, um... I thought ground type resisted normal. Or is it just rock that resists normal? Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh... Okay, good. Ooh. Oh. I was scared we were about to start up that shit. More Pokeballs. It's like all, well... That's the worst part about that orange, man, I used a bunch of Great Balls on it too. God, what an asshole. God damn, I forgot how many battles there are in, like, this game. <laughs> I feel like, you know, there definitely aren't this many in uh, Sword and Shield. And just like every- to be fair, actually, all the areas in Sword and Shield are so fucking tiny. Double kick. Oh boy. Here we go. This will be the one where I start to miss, too. Oh god, and he has two Pokemon as well. Depending on what he throws out, Bulbasaur might be coming out here. Okay. Holy shit, I'm using something other than Eevee? What? Is that legal? But yeah, I just I don't want to mess with the missing moves. Nice, we do have Vine Whip. I'm just gonna Vine Whip it. Ho! Oh, that hit hard. It's crazy, too, because that, that HP on the Geodude dropped so fast there. That was weird. Alright, I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna kind of start just ignoring the, uh, the Pokemon. Pearl, nice. I'm gonna have lots of money when we get out of this cave. Oh, right. Yeah, some of these areas, if you don't have enough Pokeballs, there's just like an- or like very many Pokeballs, there's just an NPC that gives you a bunch. 
Sup, Meowth. Okay, I guess they will catch this Geo, dude. Oh, I don't need to use those. All right. Definitely forget an old move and replace it with bite. Finally, we have something other than normal and fighting type moves. I wonder, can Magikarp learn any useful moves in this game? Besides, like, Tackle. Because, like, Sword and Shield, it can learn Hydro Pump. And, I believe, Flail? But I think Hydro Pump has to be through a TM or something. Okay, I guess we'll catch this as well. We'll try to catch this a couple of times. How... I'm surprised that was an excellent... Obviously, it was in the circle, but I didn't think it was... I didn't think the circle was small enough. I'm not going to complain, mind you. I'm just surprised. What do I have? Sure, we'll replace this with double team. The thing with double team is, double team's even, like, more useful than, like, sand attack. Because, like, double team, that just sticks until you pull the Pokemon out, whereas, um, the accuracy is based on when they, you know, the opponent pulls their Pokemon out. Alright. Rousey. Uh, ooh, Bite's gonna be real mean here. I mean, besides the fact that I am almost twice its level. Yeah, this game is, uh, not a very hard game. If you can believe it. But when you just use the same Pokemon the entire time, the XP adds up, you know? Okay. But yeah, we still need to get, like, the actual fossil. Oh my god, yes. I love how they're not even paying attention. Oh my god. Stop spawning in front of me, for the love of fuck. Ugh. There we go. Yeah, yeah, you try and jump away, asshole. It's gonna break out, though, so I'm, I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, whew. Seriously, though, fuck it, stop spawning in front of me. God fucking damn it. Does Pidgey evolve with level 16? Please tell me he evolves. Oh, right, I was gonna take out Butterfree a while ago. Let's go ahead and do that right now while I'm thinking about it. Um... I we could put in one of these other ones that might be more useful. Uh, yeah. Actually, I'm realizing now, seeing Geodude, I'm 100% not going for the living decks in this. Or not living decks, but um, 
completing the Pokedex. Because that means I have to do all like the trade evolutions and stuff, and I'm not going to do that. That is just more work than it's worth. But, one, it doesn't matter to do that for the uh, trading Pokemon. I should st fuck. Trading for like, you know, the uh, Alolan forms. But also, I should, I really need to look and see what Pokemon would I need to get as a Lowland Forms in this game. Because, like, some of the Lowland Forms you can get in Sword and Shield. Uh, poison, does Poison hit Dark Hard? I forget. It's Poison Flying, so either way, I don't, I know I don't have a super effective on it. I don't think it hits dark very hard, but... Okay. I didn't even realize there were fossils in front of them. I thought that was just the, uh... the cliff edge. Uh... Hopefully I don't get paralyzed here. So these are going to have the same damage because of stab, but flinching is nice. That is for special moves? Yeah, so that's fine. That doesn't really help them at all. Magnemite is Steel Electric, so I can just double kick it. Nice, Match Garp. Take the uh, dome fossil because I like uh, I like Kaput tops more. Cool. Not anything. Nope. Okay. Is this the exit over here? Actually. Ah, okay. We're gonna double battle uh, Team Rocket. I should have made sure I had a different Pokemon as my number two. Oh well, it's fine. Hey, speaking of the uh, stupid muck joke earlier, there's the Akins I needed. Oh! It, yeah, that's a... Uh, that's just a slight problem. You know. Just a slight problem. Alright, Magikarp. Uh, I would like to not die, so... Mmm. Okay, Pikachu it is. I think we'll be fine. It's just like... Yeah, no. Uh, well that's worrying. Oh, please don't poison. Oh, that's not move that poisons. It just lowers special defense. Good. And you just tackled, which is useless for... Okay, sure. Uh, yeah, let's just do that. Just focus on one and try and knock it out. And maybe get paralyzed. Okay, I'm going to quick attack the coughing again, and then we'll pair. Er, we'll use Thunder Shock on the Akins, and maybe we can get a Paralyze on it. There's the KO.
Uh, it can be good. If I want to be really toxic, or not toxic, actually, I guess this is like a discount toxic, but... but yeah, I mean, like, if I know I'm gonna have to, like... Oh... Uh, you know... Stall a Pokemon, then... That wouldn't be the worst option. There we go, you love to see it. As if this was gonna be a heart battle anyways. I was a little worried like that first turn, but I am not worried anymore. Uh, Yeah, this is gonna be more, definitely more powerful. Uh, actually, is Pikachu a better special or physical attack? It doesn't, again, it doesn't really matter. Oh, we got that off, huh? I'll use Quick Attack, because again, I don't think it matters. Even if it does, it's... Yeah. Alright. Love to see it. Oh, and we got more speed, too. Very nice. Got a little bit of cash. Uh-oh. What? There. I don't know why I didn't like it the first time. There we go. That should get the- oh, no. Oh. Okay. Let's, uh... Give it one of these. You want more? Usually there's like a, a secondary uh, little thing, right? Okay, you get one more. Okay. We're done here. Hey, there we go. We'll get to the Pokemon Center and then we'll, uh... Wrap up here. No more Pokemon. Uh, actually, wait. Don't I have to... What's the town map? Oh, no, okay. I was thinking that we were kind of over in this area, but yeah. Because I was worried we were going to have to go by, like, the power plant and stuff. I know you don't go in the power plant yet, but... Paralyzed heal, not that that matters a whole lot. Although I say that, I did have to use an antidote, so I should probably keep a few of those on me. I feel like those are probably more important than the, uh... Stuff like potions. Oh, what you got, Bulbasaur? Okay. Cool. Thanks. I guess. I honestly don't know if I'm gonna use a single pin app or nanab berry. I think uh pin app gives you more candies and nanab just like calms down the Pokemon. I guess nanab could be uh Is it Nanab actually hold on. I'm actually questioning myself here. Yeah, Nanab. It, it just sounds so stupid to say that. I was like, is it Naban or something? I know I had the right letters, I just wasn't sure if I had them in the right order. Um. Okay. Nothing interesting in there, at least at the moment.
I do need to make a uh, layout for this uh, this game. Oh, right. Evie wants to play in the fountain. Sure, let's throw a lot of money into it for no reason. Boy, I guess Evie really wanted me to literally throw my money away. Alright, Bulbasaur. Ow. Oh, Bulbasaur likes the fountain too. Boy, there is literally no reason to do that, huh? I should look up to see if there's any reason to do that. Oh, here it is. All right, where are the moves? Oh, gotcha. Okay, so these are um. So yeah, each one has different moves that you can teach them. There, it's basically there's one of each type. So this is water, electric, and fire. But these are very good moves. Um, I feel like electric isn't really a weakness. Water's kind of a well, I guess water and fire, huh? I'm gonna be getting a f water type next. Um, plus I have Bulbasaur to deal with water types, which I would use that for. Um, I guess we don't really have an answer for flying types right now. But we don't really, we don't have a, you know what, we're going to take this. Yeah. Oh my god, I didn't realize how good that was. Holy shit. Like, I knew these were good moves. I didn't realize that has fucking XP or HP restoring. I think you can change these at will. Maybe I should have, um... Maybe I should have tied uh, the electric type 1 first. Actually, I might do that, but we'll do that off stream. Okay. Cool. Do these all have these, like, corner things? I never noticed that before. I wonder if they do. Does this dude have a trade? Oh, no. There we go. Yes, so we can get a, a Lowland Rattata. That's level 12. So yeah, this is how you would do this, basically. This is, or this is how you do the shiny hunting for the Lowland forms. Which I know Rattata I would have to do it for. At least right now. The other thing, again, is the new games have to come out before I would want to do that anyways. Also, I think I would ha I have to, have to, have to, have to, have to, have to get Registeel first. Because, I mean, being though it's the same odds, you know. But honestly, I'm glad I could show that off at the end of the stream. Alright, heal up, and then we'll save, and we'll wrap up. Uh, so yeah, we'll be doing this pretty much like once a week. Uh just so I can kind of work through it. Because, again, I do want to start just, like, having some playthrough going on at all times. We'll still mostly be doing shiny hunting, but just so we can mix it up a little bit more. Save a second time, just to be safe. Uh, but, yeah, so I will... Uh, won't be streaming tomorrow. I should be streaming... I potentially could Tuesday or Wednesday. I kind of... Like, the thing is, where I'm at right now, yes, I'm interested in streaming on one of those two days. Um, but I know me. I know I'm going to get to them. I'm not going to want to stream. I'm just going to want to say fuck it and just play games for myself. Um, which is why I don't want to promise those. I kind of don't even want to bring them up anymore because I just never actually do it. So, for sure, next stream on Friday. If another one happens before that, then cool. Um... 
bam, we'll just be working on... Not Galarian Weezing. Was it Mr. Mime that's going to be next? I think it's Mr. Mime. Um, Galarian Mr. Mime. So, yeah, we'll be working on that next. So I should probably breed something for that. Um, yeah, I'll probably do that on Friday. It's possible I might stream this before that, but no matter what, Friday will be that. Um, if I don't stream this, then Saturday will be probably more of this. Um, anyways, thank you everyone who watched. I appreciate it. Uh, if you're watching on... Well, if you're watching on YouTube, which you, I'm like, I'm so fucking tired right now. Anyways, um, but yeah, if you're watching on YouTube, come follow me on Twitch so you can watch it live. Uh, if you're watching this as a VOD on Twitch, why are you watching VODs on Twitch? But also, if you are, come watch the YouTube, or come to the YouTube channel, because all my VODs are there. They don't disappear after 30 days or whatever the fuck it is on Twitch. Um, actually, I think it might be a lot less for... I forget what it is for not partnered streamers, but but yeah, pretty much all my VODs are there. Um, and yeah, I think that's it. So yeah, thanks everyone for watching. I'll see you guys next time.